Good day everyone, today we are looking at the pickled steel Tanter. Yes, I love the name, I love the knife and I really want to show you guys this knife because I truly believe that this will be a fantastic addition to your EDC. Okay, so let's jump in. There's a lot to mention. I'm going to mention four aspects that I truly enjoy um, that is highlighted for me in this knife and um, we're going to discover what this knife has to offer together. So let's just take a look at the blade shape. There we have it. Beautiful, beautiful, aggressive Tanto shape on this pickled steel Tanter. Yes, you can't call this knife the pickled steel Sally. That's not going to work. <laughs> no, this thing looks mean. It looks like a Tanter. Yes, love the name, love the knife. And um, let's just take a quick look at some of the extras. The boxes has new branding, as I announced a few videos back. And I think it looks great. It's very professional. We have the website here at the bottom, www.pickledsteel.co.za. Go there. They will definitely have a knife that will fit your needs. And um, here we have a few extras. We have a pocket clip, we have a Torx bit, and we have some extra screws. And we also have a microfiber cloth. Now what's interesting is Honey Badger gives you a Torx bit, right? And everyone raves on about how great that is. Kaiser gives you extra screws and everyone raves on about how great that is pickled steel gives you extra screws extra pocket clip and a torx bit so you know <laughs> that's fantastic guys what amazing value for money this company is delivering for us and um you know i think that we must just jump straight into some dimensions while i have them here this is the kaiser mini bed lager and that is the honey badger large tanto and as you can see there it is about some straight up in between those so that's great we have the alcohol you could still alcohol here and we have the qsp penguin here. so you can see it's a bit longer than the penguin a bit more of a blade there definitely a lot more cutting edge yeah and a little bit smaller than the call but not much not much okay so while i have the call here the tantor is actually the second knife in the premium line of pickled steel so the first one was the pickled steel call and it is my everyday carry my primary blade and it's fantastic it is basically still as sharp as the day i got it it's in 14 c 28n so you know that the heat treat had to be perfect right and i can only expect the same from the tanter i've been carrying it for a few days now and it's really served me well um, i enjoy many things about this knife i really do so this is second in the premium line now the, the first one that i call is about a thousand rand this one is coming in at 895 rand so 900 rand so a little bit a um, little bit cheaper than the call okay let us take a look there are four things that i love first up these grooves in the scales provide tremendous traction okay the rest of the g10 is not aggressive in its um, in its texture uh, such as with the call which is incredibly aggressive basically the call you know is pushing it you know <laughs> and they are um, really getting the most traction you can possibly get out of g10 uh, from this texture on the call and it's extremely comfortable this guy is nice smooth soft in hand great texture great grip but then these grooves they provide incredible grip um, when you need it right so if i need to cut something like this these grooves are going to serve me well fantastic so that's the first thing that really stands out for me and that i love um, second thing has got to be the blade shape right that traditional tanto shape not modified just plain and simple two edged straight edges um, that's fantastic i think it's beautiful especially with that switch right there with this blood groove it looks awesome it looks awesome guys really awesome yes i love it i love it the third thing that i really enjoy is the weight so here we go let's take a look at the weight now this is going to be a surprise to you guys because this thing is incredibly solid but weighs only 81 grams right 81 grams so that is tremendous guys that is incredible i mean how did they get it that low uh, <laughs> that's truly fantastic if you think that you know this is what is the penguin 
is um, the penguin is how much is a penguin? 93 grams. Yeah, and uh, the tanker is even bigger than the penguin. You know, it's it's really incredible how they drop that weight and still it remains solid. There is zero flex in this knife, zero flex. I love the dual tone on the, the color of the G10. There's green and black. There's also a red and black, which I will insert now. Uh, but I love the look. It's definitely fitting to, to my style and, and my clothing also. Um, so this fits me nicely. And then the fourth thing that I really enjoy is the pocket clip. Okay, the pocket clip is sunken, the screws are recessed and flat, so this thing goes in and out of your pocket extremely well. And with this overall design, slim design, you know, which could be my fifth <laughs> favorite part about this knife, it provides like this gentleman carry. So this thing really disappears in your pocket, right? And with this deep carry pocket clip and this little corner sticking out right here, it creates a deep carry experience, but once you need it, you do have that little bit of extra grip in hand to take out your knife quickly. So that's fantastic. I enjoy that. I really enjoy that. Okay, let's talk dimensions, guys. We have here our very cheap and trusty little measuring tape. 19 centimeters on the overall length. We have a blade length of 8 centimeters, and therefore a handle length of 11. Quick maths. And we have a blade width of 2 centimeters. A blade stock thickness of a little bit more than three millimeters so let's say three and a half that is what it is listed as so they are correct in that it is definitely three and a half then we have a handle width of a little bit more than two centimeters about 2.2 and a handle thickness of 1.2 centimeters great stuff okay let's start off with looking at this this blade right Blade, traditional, tanto shape, not modified, two straight edges, we have two tips here, so you have that benefit, tanto shape, always great with regards to tip strength, we have, you can see the bevel there, on this two angle grind, providing reinforcement to that tip, the switch is beautiful, love that, um, I love that we have this normal flat part here, and then it drops down into a flat grind, um, towards the edge, love it, we have this groove, it's not a funnel or spiral, because you can't access that, um, it serves as a blood hole, right? Or, yeah, that's what we call it, <laughs> a blood groove. So it will catch um, the liquids, the oils, the blood, whatever you use it for, before it reaches those beautiful and highly functional bearings, which it runs on. Um, I like that they included this. I think it looks great on the overall design. Even though it doesn't have a deployment function, I think it would have looked, um, you know, maybe a little bit bland without that. So, the for design purposes loving that little blood groove there we have functional jumping here at the back and this is about where my finger will sit when i need to use that so that's great um the action on this guy is beautiful and that could be the the six highlight on this knife for me is just the premium feel when opening and closing the blade you can hear there that snap but then listen to the close you hear? It's like, it almost has this sort of a, a rubbery sound. Now, compared to something like the Kaiser, mini bit lager, yeah, it, it has a metal on metal sound. Now, this thing does hit the stop pin. It's not hitting the G10 or anything like that. It's hitting the stop pin, but it's so smooth, and it has this perfect detent that it actually feels it breaks right before it hits the stop pin. And it gives you that little almost a, a rubbery feel, magnetic feel, when closing the, the knife. It's truly premium feel that you get on this tanter. Loving it, loving it. Sorry guys, quick interruption. I figured out what actually adds to that beautiful drop shot um, effect that you get on the tanter. You know, that sort of a soft magnetic feel at the end of, um, of the closing of the blade. And it's this part. Do you see there, come on focus, you see there's the detent ball. And it's sitting, it's sitting right at the start of the liner. So when the blade closes, it does break. That's what I felt. It does break right at the very end. You see, it, it, it sort of ends up in that little detent right there. Right just before it hits the stop pin. See, and there we have it. 
that's awesome guys what amazing quality with the penguin you'll see the detent ball it's way in there in the middle and uh, here we have the honey badger it's also there in the middle of the liner if that's a common thing for for knives to have that yeah with the kaiser kaiser also detent ball right up there in the middle of the liner um, so yeah i never knew that could have an effect like that you guys have to try that out for sure right at the beginning of the liner detent ball and it's just that final little oop, it takes it beautiful let's talk about the the liners we have brushed liners stainless steel liners um and they are skeletonized on one side as you guys can see there skeletonized on one side not on the other side the lockup is fantastic the centering is on point and uh, a very solid knife very solid knife with honey badgers you know you get that flex you have nothing like that with this tanter not at all solid as a rock no blade play <laughs> this, <laughs> this thing is on point um we have this beautiful green g10 backspacer i'm liking that the rest of it is flow through and um yeah loving the weight on this guy love the balance it's fantastic guys yes it is so comfortable in hand this straight handles um you know they just fit any hand out there and as you can see i have large hands and um, i get a full four finger grip on this my pinky is not even close to hanging on the edge but if you do have larger hands then with this design it kind of compensates for that so you will have you know extra space for your little pinky without really increasing the overall look and length of the of the handle so yeah that's um that's very nice well forward out loving it loving it pocket clip as i mentioned sunken reset screws deep carry pocket clip with this small little corner for that extra high ride experience you know or the benefits you get from a high ride experience so it's it's kind of in the in the middle between the two uh it's not reversible so this is going to be a tip up right hand carry all the way around guys this is a phenomenal knife now now before i end off i am looking for a new jacket knife and every time i think i can do a video on choosing my new jacket knife I get another knife and it's a perfect contender for the jacket <laughs> for the jacket knife so i want to move from my current jacket knife which is an unknown brand but seems high quality um g10 blacked out little knife sort of resembles a rat too and um, then another contender will be a traditional very lightweight a uh, small flat ukapi which is a traditional south african legendary knife then we have a uh, usb penguin and um i like the penguin but the heat treat is not great i don't know if it's just mine maybe if you guys own a penguin let me know does your penguins heat treat suck as well <laughs> and then we have the kaiser mini bed lager in the running and now my friends we have the pickled steel tanter and i'm telling you guys it's going to be a difficult decision especially after this video because the tanter has so many fantastic functions and being part of the family of the akal it seems only right that my backup knife should be the tanter but we'll get to that video in the future for now guys get yourself a pickled steel tanter and remember no knife means no life have a knife day